John completed an associate degree in natural sciences from the School of Arts, Science and Professional Studies with a grade point average of 3.99. Minister Boson said Arnold's achievement will not go unnoticed by government. To qualify for a government scholarship, you must obtain a minimum GPA of 3.0. However, given the competitive nature and the demand for higher quality students from institutions of higher learning, very soon that requirement will be lifted to 3.5. And in this regard, my friends, I warmly congratulate Mr. Arnold John for achieving a 3.9 GPA. I can assure you that with such GPA, an island scholarship is in the waiting. Delivering his valedictorian address to graduating students of the college, John said his dedication to his schoolwork and social environment was sufficient enough to emerge as the valedictorian. However, he said this did not come easy. I am not the smartest person graduating here today. I'm not. I am up here on this podium as a valedictorian because of how I applied myself to my schoolwork and social environment. I've experienced the same problems as all of you. Time management and procrastination were two of the hardest things I had to overcome. These came when I wanted to give up and question myself, why am I even beating myself up? For that, I want to especially thank my parents for instilling in me the importance of education from an early age. Arnold left graduates with a few words of wisdom. Don't let another person's achievements bring you down, but let it encourage you to do better. Set your goals and achieve them. With God by your side, you can achieve anything. People work 20 years of their life in a bank when all they wanted to do was write music. People worked all their lives as a medical doctor when all they wanted to do was be a lawyer or a teacher of some sort. I am saying this to say, mold a future that you want to live in and not live in a future molded by someone else for you. This year's graduation was held under the theme, Fostering Global Responsibility for a Sustainable Future. Colin Campbell, GBN News.